and help is on the way for families struggling to find a baby formula during this nationwide shortage. Europe's for first shipment of formula has reached the US. However, officials say that's only going to provide enough formula for 9000 babies for just a week all across the country. Now, as a result, many are turning to local donations, food pantries and more to get their hands on that formula. News 12's Kristen McNally is actually at a local distribution place. Kristen, parents are really doing anything they can to feed their babies. Crazy. That's right. We've seen many families coming here with babies, hoping to get their hands on some formula. Now here at the food pantry run by the Islamic Center of the South Shore, uh, you know, just a little bit down the block from the mosque itself. They do have formula here and they have been able to be giving it out to families. We spoke with one expecting mother in Nassau County who said she's not taking any formula quite yet. She's hoping that the moms that get it right now are the ones that really need it and she's still expecting again. Her baby is doing August, but she said pantries like this are doing excellent work and should be there to help the community. I think it's helpful. I think any help that the moms can get, that's what they need to do. Julia from Franklin Square is expecting her third child in August. She was not able to breastfeed her first two children and feels she will have to rely on formula again. And that is troubling amid the shortage. I don't know what I would do. The desperation of mothers is what inspired Sherry R. Ali, a deputy Nassau County attorney who is a new dad himself, to organize a donation drive. A woman already has so much on her plate uh, with a newborn, and then for a woman, a mother, to worry about feeding a child I think no mother should be put in that position. Local organizations, including the South Asian American Small Business Association, Toys for Eid, and the Mushid Hamza collaborated together to run a formula drive and have collected over $3,000 worth of it. Everyone's come together to put this together, and it really means so much. Bottom line is we can't look in the rearview mirror. We've got to roll up our sleeves and make sure that those who are the most vulnerable get the baby formula. The donations came from people on Long Island who had extra, friends shipping it in from other states and the digital research effort to find it available online by teens. With the digital age and everything, I feel like young people are more connected to it and so they have more of an understanding of how to incorporate new ideas and technology into things that everyone needs, such as formula. Now some of that formula is also going to 11 shelters on Long Island and that will be distributed through the Department of Social Services. For now we're in Valley Stream, Krista McNally, News 12 Long Island.